so very good morning to class 10th d we are going to continue the chapter sermon at banaras yes so i am showing a quote of gautam buddha to you all can you see it on your screens yes so uh, bhanu please read it out for us what is written please read it out no one can escape death and unhappiness if people expect only happiness in life they will be disappointed so please tell me the meaning also if you can explain in your own words what does it mean Ma'am, it means that if we only expect happiness in life, and if we don't expect failure and sorrow and unhappiness in our life, then we will be disappointed. The, the sad part is also a phase of our life, and we learn from it. Yes, exactly right. Pani, you can mute yourself. So, those who are joining now, beta, please, it's a request. Please join well in time. So, this quote by Buddha says that no one can escape death. This is one of the themes of your chapters, but our death is inevitable. Fine, you cannot escape death. Nobody can run or hide somewhere that we will not die. Okay, or we cannot hide our loved ones also that you know God will not take them away. No, this is not possible. So, if people expect only happiness in their lives, uh, they will be disappointed. So, this is our own set, you know, mindset only. We always look forward for happiness. so you can see that what quote i have written on the board that also you can see uh please have a look at the board now i'm going to switch to that let's be happy by choice and not by chance you know this is the thought of the day which is apt as per this chapter also so we have to be happy by choice happiness is a choice it's not the chance ki okay by chance we are happy you know so it's all in our minds what sort of mindset we are having we become like that right so uh, let me uh, show you one more wait yes so uh, parikshit read it for us please parikshit can you read it is not there so wishing the teacher good morning and then get disappear yes archi please read it for us life is a circle of happiness sadness hard times and good times if you are going through hard times have faith that good times are on the way what does it mean archi according to you life is a circle where we have to face happiness sadness and hard times at one phase and we have to hope for good because if we are going through some hard times there it is always that on on the next day there have to be a good time so uh, this quote means that very good archi can read yourself this quote is actually but you have seen that circle there is no point there is no ending point in the circle first of all circles motion it goes on and on fine there is no end point in this so the way our life is like that only it is this a uh, circle Uh, life is a circle full of happiness uh, you can say sorrows and sadness and happy times and bad times everything and always remember this too shall pass so this quote this too shall pass means even happy times does not remain permanently and even bad times do not remain permanently you need not be you know overjoyed ki okay so i am so good so happy about this my success this will pass similarly if you are at so you can say bad days of your lives are going on you need not you know be pity yourself and be sitting at the corner and keep on cribbing about what has happened that will also go on fine so nothing is permanent in this temporary world whatever has been here it will go on fine so nothing this too shall pass always remember so that is the in in good days also 
the bad days also nothing is permanent so this is this this chapter is teaching us basically acceptance we people do not accept the things as they are we keep on putting our own terms and conditions into them death is inevitable nobody can stop death death has to come so live your life as if it's the last day of your life fine so if you will think like that i don't know whether i'll be getting up in the morning or not you will give your best fine so live your each moment of your life breathe in the present then next is move on in life and you know we get stuck to the past memories or bad memories or bad events and why i got failed in the subject why that happened to me why that person is lost fine so we get stuck we do not move on in life and there are a lot of opportunities there are a lot of things which we can do but we just get stuck to the past and past will never take you further in life okay it will ruin your future have emotional intelligence that i added more into it this is nothing mentioned about emotional intelligence in this chapter but this is perceivable you know after reading this chapter gautam buddha when he was born as a prince those who were absent that day let me introduce this character gautam buddha fine and kiza gautam is another character in this so gautam buddha when he was born he was born as a prince he got all the amenities of life he was so happy you know he got uh, married at the uh, right age and he had a son also and he was leading very it is a good life but when two or three incidents moved his life he saw that people begging and dying and lot of uh, you can say poverty around and lot of pains and the moments of agony around and then he thought he life is not bed of roses life is full of thorns also why this is so he had that spiritual hunger you know we people are so insensitive hame koi pata nahi hota we are so insensitive so he became very sensitive so he was born when his name was siddharth his no, his name was not gautam buddha earlier fine so his name was siddharth and when he was born and uh, he thought that why there is a lot of pain and problems in the, this world he wanted to you know he had he wanted to follow that spiritual path he wanted to have spiritual knowledge so then he left everything and he went in the search here and there and after a few tiles search for 7 years he sat under a tree a peepal tree and that tree is known as bodhi tree now he sat over there and after 7 days of meditation brooding upon thinking and chanting and then he came up of this he he got enlightenment enlightenment means he got that knowledge that why the world is suffering it's all in our mind you know it's all the mind game if you think that you are suffering you will suffer if you think you are happy you will be happy fine it's all here how we take the things fine and how we make the things it's up to us only so after getting enlightenment you know we have we should have patience during the tough days also during the uh, you know don't be overjoyed during the happy days and don't be too sad during the so one should be emotionally intelligent what do you mean by you know earlier it was iq level intelligent quotient ki ha his iq is so high we need to have eq also this is the new concept these days isme mention nahi hai kuch iske bare mein bas i'm telling you eq is emotional quotient means if you know that how to handle your emotions you know you have seen some people they keep on crying and crying and then some people they do not cry at all and then there are people who will be obsessed about one thing and you know different supremacy of one or the other emotions so eq is emotional quotient that should be accurate in your lives that should be accurate in your like you should know how to handle your emotions also you should have the art of having patience in life so one should be emotionally intelligent also clear these are the basic prominent themes this is the secondary theme fine so gautam buddha uh, when he turned that prince turned into monk fine he started sermonizing people i told you already the meaning of sermonizing fine this is a religious discourse it is kind of enlightening others to one person or to the more people or in a group so you change the life those sermons can be given by any experienced person any guru any monk any priest any pandit or any other person fine who has that experience who is enlightened so he thought of sermonizing people he started sharing his knowledge with others so that others lives can be changed fine so kiza gautami was one of the characters she lost her only son and after losing her son she you know kept on knocking at the doors of the people to help for help and make her the son alive then she realized nobody was everybody was thinking she has turned insane ki wo pagal ho chuki hai you know insane and and nobody bothered about her then a, a gentleman came forward to her, to her help he suggested her that you should meet gautam buddha 
find the man who sits under the bodhi tree and he can help you so kisa got me you know she was so happy to know okay there is someone who can help her and make her son alive so she kept uh, that dead body of the son and uh, she was having and she ran towards uh, to meet gautam buddha and then she asked okay can you save my son uh, please save my son i know that you can do it so gautam buddha he what he did he said okay i can help you firstly you just bring one handful of mustard seeds Find a handful of mustard seed जो हम खाने में use करते हैं. He says to bring to one uh, handful. This is a very easy thing. She goes, but he added up one more clause into it. He added one more condition. He said, bring that one handful of mustard seeds, but to the you need to bring that uh, mustard seeds from the house where no one has lost their loved ones. किसी के जहाँ पे घर पे किसी की death ना हुई हो. Nobody has lost their loved ones from that house. You need to bring. So she. you know started banging at the doors of the people asking for handful of mustard seeds everybody was ready to give but when she added that uh, if you have lost uh, you can see if you have lost some loved ones in the past there is not a single house in this uh, on this earth fine everybody has lost one or the other loved ones on one or the other day everyone has to die so then she realized she sat over there she was so dejected after knocking at so many doors He, nobody is there who has lost not lost a loved one so why i am being so mean when she sat in the darkness there were you know flickering lights wo dekhti hai so many lights were flickering and suddenly uh, lights went out and darkness started prevailing then she compared her life with the, that flickering she says this is the human life that day she realized that this is the human life it is flickering all the time means we can die at any time when and suddenly it went out and darkness will prevail and it is with every man not with me then kisa gautami was enlightened by gautam buddha that day she was a sermonized in banaras so that's why the name of the chapter is the sermon at banaras that was the first sermonizing by gautam buddha clear now i'm going to share the screen and we will continue the chapter clear a beta please send me the thumbs up for that is it clear उनको भी क्लियर हो गया होगा सो थॉट्स आर आल्सो शेयर विद यू ऑल नाउ लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद सी स्क्रीन इज विजिबल पेज नंबर क्लियर यस लेट्स कंटिन्यू वी आर ऑन पेज नंबर वन थर्टी फोर आई गेस वी वर let me continue from this lisa kiza got me became very weary and hopeless tired and sat down at the wayside watching the lights of the city as they flickered up and were extinguished again at last the darkness of the night reigned everywhere and she considered the fate of men the lives flicker up and are extinguished again and she thought to herself how selfish i am in my grief death is common to all yet in this valley of desolation there is a path that leads him to immortality who has surrendered all selfishness then she realized ki ye to this is our life it is flickering all the time and one day there will be darkness and we the person who has realized this only that person can be away from desolation that person can uh, be peaceful who has surrendered all selfishness hame surrender karna hoga we have to accept the reality and we have to learn the art of surrendering to the god surrendering to the natural things natural death is inevitable it is natural it has to come the buddha said the life of mortals in this world is troubled and brief beta this is sermonizing ye usko samjha rahe hain this religious discourse spiritual discourse The life of mortals in this world is troubled and brief, and combined with pain. Why is it combined with pain? Our life, because for it is not means by which those they have been born can avoid dying. After reaching old age, there is death. Of such a nature are living beings. As ripe fruits are early in danger of falling, so mortals, when born, are always in danger of death. You know. Uh, पका हुआ फल जल्दी गिरता है सो द मोर राइट वेन द फ्रूट्स आर द मोर चांसेस ऑफ फॉलिंग फ्रॉम द ट्री द मोर वी आर आई टोल्ड यू दैट वी सेलिब्रेट अवर बर्थडेज बट एक्चुअली इट इज वन डे माइनस फ्रॉम अवर लाइफ 
so as we are furthering in age we are moving towards our death also so mortals when born are always in danger of death as all earthen vessels made by potter end in being broken sab mitti ke bartan tootenge one or the other day all uh, uh, vessels are meant to be broken so is the life of mortals both young and adult both those who are foolish both those who are wise all fall into this trap of death power of death all are subject to death koi aisa ek insaan hai jo kitna richest ho gaye main marunga nahi life mein clear koi hai aisa nobody is there main aapko ek story sunati hu let me narrate you one incident one story is there related to would you like to yes are you interested in listening to that short story about death ye isse related nahi hai but this is very you can say apt to this uh, situation is story mein kya hota hai there was a man he thinks that he will not die what should he do he was very afraid of death kehta main god ke sath ladunga for, for the whole life what will i do i will keep every thing of need in my home he was rich he was very rich you know so he was so rich that he was very fond of luxurious life he closed himself in a room he thought i will not go out of my room only i have my washroom here i have everything every facility luxurious facility get a phone call away i am getting everything main bahar hi nahi jaunga no accident can can kill me no fire can destroy me so there are less chances main bimar bhi nahi ho paunga aise zyada logo se milunga hi nahi and you know i will take care of my health also in that way so he thought that i will not die and he kept on enjoying watching tv and sitting on the bed and all so when the day of doom arrived jab uska death ka day tha when it was destined to be dead you know uh, there was a huge painting over the bed that painting fell on his head and he died on the spot he died there and then only what does this teach us this incident this story teaches dash kon batayega this is the theme also yes mahak will you tell us tanya yes tanya beautifully done yes mahak ma'am this story teaches that uh, everything is everything everyone has to die one day so yes. we should enjoy our life and we should not uh, yes think about death we should just enjoy it we cannot fight with natural things we cannot be against god we cannot say we cannot go against the law of nature this is the law of nature who has taken birth will definitely die one day yes tanya death is inevitable whatever i have written on the board it is apt clear to ye story mein yahi batati hai nobody can escape death and nobody can fight uh, against the laws of nature fine so all are subject to death yahi hai jo maine highlight kiya hua you can see on the screen so all are subject to death ye chapter bas jaldi se finish ho jana hai let me finish uh, fine so all chahe jitna marzi aap intelligent ho foolish ho wise ho all have to die but let's live life to the fullest let's not be too much into our emotions let's be emotionally intelligent of those who overcome by death depart from life a father cannot save his son nor kinsman their relations koi rishtedar koi kinsman apna relations nahi bacha sakta hai not father can save the son mark while relatives are looking on and lamenting deeply one by one mortals are carried off means lamenting mean pachtava hona when relatives are you know talking and lamenting aise kyu hua why he died why she died aise kaise ho gaya even then one by one all are dying all are carried off like an ox that is led to the slaughter slaughter hota hai jo animals ko maarta hai with the help of the instrument with help of his big knife fine so he says the being the way ox is being slaughtered by uh fine similarly we are being killed one by one we are being died one by one so the world is afflicted with death and decay world is full of the examples of death and destruction therefore the wise do not grieve knowing the terms of the world hum kehte hain na acha wo to roya hi nahi ji it doesn't mean the person you know who has more acceptance yes we will cry uh, you know it is not again we cannot do something about it we will cry we will feel bad but if we keep on doing the same thing it will not do any good to us it will do rather bad to us so he says that the person who has learned the truth of the life will not grieve too much not from weeping nor from grieving will anyone obtain peace of mind 
on the contrary his pain will be the greater and his body will suffer kya hota hai if if a person keeps on crying he will be affected his body will be affected he will he can die also he will get more problems he will he will not be able to concentrate further on his life peace of mind chala jayega he will make himself sick and pale yet the dead are not saved by his lamentation लेमेंटेशन में जो रोना धोना और और इफ यू फील एक्सप्रेस योर सोरो अगर सोरो एक्सप्रेस करने से कोई वापस आ सकता होता तो आना जाता अभी तक फाइन सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इफ वन पर्सन इज डेड ही इज डेड यू कैन नॉट कम बैक ही हु सीक्स पीस शुड ड्रॉ आउट द एरो ऑफ लेमेंटेशन एंड कंप्लेंट एंड ग्रीफ ही हु हैज ड्रॉन आउट ऑल द एरो एंड हैज बिकम कंपोज्ड विल ऑब्टेन पीस ऑफ माइंड ही हु हैज ओवरकम ऑल सोरो विल बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम सोरो एंड बी ब्लेस्ड it is very you know easier said than done english mein kaha hota hai na ki it is easier said than done bolna bahut easy hai lekin karna is very difficult yes it is truth it is very difficult fine and uh, but it is the reality if we will be having composed personalities if we will be peace at peace if we want peace in our lives we have to accept the reality acceptance hona bahut zaruri hai don't be complaining don't have grief to too long fine accept what is the destiny clear any doubt to anyone all clear we are going to do question answers now beta so uh, you will be participating in this if you are unable to then anish will be answer okay is that clear चलिए क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हेन हर सन डाइज कीजा कौतमी गोस फ्रॉम हाउस टू हाउस व्हाट डज शी आस्क फॉर डज शी गेट इट व्हाई नॉट एंड बेटर लेट मी टेल यू यू हैव अ टेस्ट एट टू टुडे ठीक है दो बजे आई विल शेयर द टेस्ट एंड प्लीज सेंड बाय थ्री आई एम गिविंग एक्स्ट्रा टाइम विद इन वन आवर यू कैन सेंड इंडिविजुअली टू मी ठीक है किसी ने ग्रुप में नहीं टेस्ट भेजनी है सेंड मी इंडिविजुअली In the form of, if it is a one-page test, अगर आपका एक पेज पे आ जाता है, you can click the picture and you can send me directly without renaming it. But if you are writing more than one page, आपके दो पेज हैं, then you can uh, convert it into PDF also. Fine, is that clear? So that will be a written test. Last time it was a Google test form. This time it will be a written test. So it will be in you know, a that uh, way. Next time it will be again Google link. Clear? so test at 2 of glimpses of india make sure you have done it so uh, uh, who will answer this question beta raise your hands when her son dies kiza godmi goes from house to house what was the request made by her to people very easy it is raise your hands quick किसी को नहीं आंसर आता है इसका वेरी बैड इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल किसी को आता ही नहीं है ईशा प्रीत फर्स्ट आंसर दीजिए जल्दी से आई विल नॉट मार्क देम प्रेजेंट यू विल नॉट आंसर यस मैम यस गुड आफ्टरनून प्लीज आंसर दिस uh she goes house to house asking her neighbors for medicine which could cure her child yes and did she get it uh no she didn't get it and why not because no one has uh, because no one has the medicine to give her back to give life to the son yes ma'am very good ishapi you can mute yourself so yes uh when kiza got me the son dies she goes from house to house requesting for a wonder drug that could bring her son back to life fine so she was looking forward for a wonder drug drug or medicine which could bring her uh, son back to life no she did not get it because there is no medicine that can bring a dead man back to life obviously that's why fine second question Kiza got me again. Goes from house to house after she speaks with the Buddha. What does she ask for the second time around? Does she get it? Why not? Divyansh, answer this.
No response. Anybody would like to answer? Yes. Archie has raised hand. Dakshita, you can give answer. Gautam Buddha. Yes, Peter. Gautam Buddha asked Kothmi to bring handful of mustard seeds, but from the house where the people had not faced loss of their loved ones, Kothmi was very happy and was now filled with hope but she was unable to find such house. She now realized that everyone, whether rich or poor, young or old, has to surrender in front of death when it will occur. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Rupa. You can read yourself. So, uh, upon seeing the Buddha, Gautami is refilled with hope and thus she, uh, when he asked her to go again, she goes again from house to house looking for mustard seeds, right? just as Lord Buddha had asked her. But many had mustard seeds to offer her, but none of them could fulfill Lord Buddha's condition of having seen no deaths in the family, of having no loss of lives in the family. Therefore, she could not find mustard seeds for her son. Fine, this is the answer to second question. What does Kiza Gautami understand the second time that she failed to understand the first time. Was this what the Buddha wanted her to understand? Yes, Dakshita would like to answer. Tanya has raised hand. Dakshita has raised hand. Good morning. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, Peter, good afternoon. Please answer this. Yes, ma'am. Um, after realizing that um, no one could fulfill um, Buddha's um, Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, yes, it's uh, very much audible. Please go on. Okay, ma'am. Uh, after realizing that no one could uh, uh, fulfill Buddha's uh, situation to bring mustard seeds, um, uh, then af after that, Kiza got me understood the second time that how selfish uh, uh, she is was in was in her grief um uh, she uh, she uh, realized that death is common to all uh, yet in this valley of uh, dissolution there is a path that leads um, him to immortality who has surrendered all the se uh, selfishness yes very good you can uh, mute yourself so Yes, uh, she, they are asking that how she understood the second time or she could not understand the first time. So when Kiza Gautami failed to find mustard seeds that could fulfill Lord Buddha's condition of having seen no deaths in the family, she became disheartened, fine. After deep reflection, she realized while when she was sitting and she uh, watched the fluctuating lights also, and suddenly the darkness was prevailing, she realized that cycle of birth and death was nature's way of working. Death is inevitable. Suddenly, then she becomes conscious. She was overwhelmed, uh, sorry, she was over, uh, you can say, whelmed with sorrow and pain that she was not able to see the reality, right? So yes, this is exactly what Lord Buddha wanted her to understand that, that this uh, vicious circle of life, uh, full of death and life will be going on, will be going on. And she had been in sorrow so that she was not realizing it. But after realizing, uh, she understood the concept, right? So last fourth question is, now I won't be asking anyone because Bello Jani, these two questions I'm going to explain. Why do you think Kiza Gautami understood this only the second time? In what way did the Buddha change her understanding? So Kiza Gautami was too overwhelmed. Same answer, beta. She could not realize because she was overwhelmed with emotion of pain and sorrow. She could not understand that death has to come. She became disheartened after losing her son. So after deep reflection, after the incident of not getting seeds from the houses of people who do not have uh, any loss of life or uh, after seeing that fluctuating lights and then she realized a lesson of life that one must not grieve for what is bound to happen. What will happen will happen, fine. So then Buddha changed uh, life, fine. How do you usually understand the idea of selfishness? Do you agree with Kiza Gosmi that she was being selfish in grief? Uh, so, yes, she was being selfish. She was thinking that if she has lost her son, she will definitely get it to the help of someone. So, she was being mean here. Uh, 
otherwise idea what is the meaning of idea of selfishness being selfish is by thinking by your own benefits only when you think about your own self when you do not think about others fine but when she realizes that others are also part of the journey others have also lost the loved ones i am not different from others only then she was uh, she realized that yes she was being selfish okay okay beta have a nice day bell is gone our period is over do these question answers in the notebook and please uh, appear in that test it is compulsory also as i have already guided you